Guys, welcome back after that short break. Let us quickly wrap up today's lesson. So in our lesson today, we focus on the topic of finance by looking at value-added tax as well as exchange rates. We then establish that the value-added tax exclusive amount, right, is always equivalent to 100%. We also indicated that VAT is always equivalent to 15% of the VAT exclusive amount. We thereafter establish that the VAT inclusive amount is always equivalent to 115% of the VAT exclusive amount, meaning it will be the VAT exclusive amount of 100% plus your VAT of 15%. Okay. Thereafter, we said that currency is the system of money used in a particular country or region, right? Such as your dollar in the USA, the rand in South Africa, and the euro in most of Europe. Also important in today's lesson was that a currency is said to be strong when it is worth more, right? Relative to other currencies. An example, when one unit of a currency trades for more units of another currency. We then looked at a weak currency, right? Where we've indicated that a currency is said to be weak when it is less in value as compared to other currencies. We also indicated that countries with weak currencies have much higher levels of imports than exports. Then we also look at the buying or sometimes referred to as the purchasing power of a currency. And it means that its unit of currency can buy more goods and services. Okay. And then sometimes we also use codes, as you've seen in today's lesson, right? Where we distinguish between currencies instead of using symbols. For example, sometimes we use ZAR, that represents South African Rand, or TWD, for example, Taiwan Dollar, or the THB for the Thai Baht. Right. Guys, now let's quickly focus on some common errors, right? Or actually pointers that I want you to take with you from today's lesson. So the first one I said, remember that VAT in South Africa is charged at 15%. Okay, so for all your calculations, remember we will use 15% for VAT calculations. Then also, please, you are not expected to memorize the exchange rate. Remember I've indicated that exchange rate changes on a daily basis, depending on the, what is happening in the markets. So please don't memorize this exchange rate. It will be given to you now. It will be presented at each question, as we did in our lesson today as well. Then some items are VAT exempted. Right now, normally you'll see on your fill slips, we either use an asterisk, sometimes it's a hashtag um, sign, but that's used to indicate that those items are VAT exempted. Okay, and then also, they said, ensure that you understand the difference between VAT inclusive and VAT inclusive. And as I always indicate, read with due diligence. Underline, encircle, highlight all the important information. Okay, guys, before I say goodbye today, let's leave you with something to do for the upcoming week. This challenge is posed to you. It says, when Delia traveled from Johannesburg to the USA, he will be leaving the USA next week to visit his cousin in Brazil. He still has 250 US dollars left. Calculate how many Brazilian real one dealer will get for 250 US dollars. You can use the exchange rate in the table below, where we say one Argentine peso equals 0.17 US dollar, and then one Argentine peso equals 0.30 Brazilian real. Guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Hope to see you next time. Remember to stay safe and to work every day. Goodbye.